protects the paint from chips and stuff that affects what's up guys Mooney cars review welcome back to the channel so again we are going back to mass i'm going to upload i'm going to do you guys a video you know and upload the video so i'm here i'm in the chevy i mean lower this a little bit it's um 86 degrees here in rhode island it's a sunny day and i'm going out there to do you guys a video um let's jump in the video then so this is a hyundai sonata four thousand six hundred and fifty dollars i'm seeing the panoramic sunroof so it tells me that this is probably a limited or you know something 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 good about this one this one is packed with good of course it's a limited and i see a touch screen in it so um i will need to check i need to um, guys come in the comment section because i'm going to show you exactly what i'm talking about so some of the hyundais come with the limited badge of course but you don't find subs no not subs you don't find um touch screen in them this comes with the is this um this comes with the the um not the black um letter this is the cream one okay that looks good so far i'm actually i actually want to i want to um i want to check this one up okay for a friend i want to check it up so i'll go and get the keys for this uh let's pop the hood and this trunk and let's show you let's see what i'm talking about you see it comes with the infinity sound system with a touch screen and the heater seats and the other ones have the heater seats and other stuff don't get me wrong but i don't see a touch screen in it so oh and it comes with already good kumo tires and it comes with extra four and um a, is this a used one yeah a used um air filter it's not bad buy this gives you four so let me go and get the keys for this i want to try it out and see how it looks you know what i'm saying I, my, uh, this is a gdi too of course they're all gdis um engine looks good four thousand six fifty i don't know why let's go ahead and get the key and i'll be back okay so i got the key for it i mean this car sounds like a sewing machine. This is, look, listen to it. It's very clean. 160,000 miles on it. Of course, it's a GDI. Well, it has the pan, it has a panoramic sunroof. Not, not really a panoramic sunroof, but, you know, like dual sunroof. I'm going to take you guys inside. Listen to that sound. So the guy said uh, it has a rattle at the front. I guess it's an undercarriage noise. Nothing too bad, nothing too shabby. Hopefully, I'm gonna take it for a spin. Um, I just wanted you guys to see how it looks. Four thousand six hundred and fifty dollars. Now this is good, okay? AC, yep. AC had, has kicked in. It's on. One hundred and sixty thousand miles on the dash. That's not bad, okay? Um, it's a 2013. This is what the guy said. Let me see. Okay, so 2011 or 2012, something like that. So this is how I'm saying. This is a split um, roof. AC has kicked in. The back is on. Let me go ahead and increase the something. So this is it. I have the key in my pocket. This is how the key looks. Okay. I mean, it's not bad. I'm going to put the key right here. What do we have here? Um what is this triple a uh, okay i don't know what's that's the money's triple a card um we have log knots and stuff here i like this i must admit i do now let's go ahead and and take this for spin we have the what's the name of it um navigation so let's take a first spin and come back this is a camry of course you know we always love the camrys these are strong cars 
when we see them of course we gotta pass and show you guys some of them this one has a broken bumper down five thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars let's walk around steel wheels misaligned bumper what else le of course so this is the base model you won't have anything special about it scrapes and stuff around let's take you guys inside Okay, let's pop the trunk, pop the hood. Okay, so we have mats and stuff here. Clean, clean spare tire underneath. Oof, man, whole lot of dust. Is there power? Yep, it's power. Open up. Uh oh. Made me afraid. I thought it was going to start alarming. Um, the cloth seats are not too bad, but needs deep cleaning. This is how it looks for the front, of course, guys. I'm not going to take a take a whole lot of time on this one. We all know how the camera looks, right? We all know how. I don't know how the camera looks. Of course, I'm gonna, my guess is, yep, my guess is as, as yours, as good as yours. Valve cover leakage, of course. That's what it is. So this is how it looks. I mean, nothing too different about them. They're all the same. Now let's go ahead and look at another one. So another one is a CX-5. Of course you have. Mazda's Sky Active technology system, clean tires, clean one. Nobody can tell me anything about that one. Of course, we have brand new Mazda floor mats, dirty headliner. This is how it looks in the front. Let's go ahead and take you guys. It's a small, it's a small SUV. I must admit. But it's not bad. You have the black trim on the dash. This is how it looks. Is it telling us anything? Nah. It needs a hell of a cleaning. That I can tell you for a fact. I can tell you that for a fact. It needs hell of a cleaning. Okay. This is it. $7,950. Well. Let's pop that hood. Is it popping? I think it's gonna be a problem opening the hood. But let's show you guys in the back. Yeah, little storage space. Of course, you have the spare and the privacy stuff for your for the cargo. And let's take you guys here and show you this. Okay. All right, it's open. Engine needs hell of a cleaning. Corrosion are all, it's all around the battery. 2015, 2.5 liter Sky Active technology. Well, that is it. Now let's go ahead and show you guys another one. So why not look at an Outback? It's been a while since we review a Subaru on this channel. That I can tell you for a fact. For those of you who are the Subaru lovers, this is an Outback. This is sold. I'm actually going to look for another one. This is a 2015. There are a lot of two displays. For one fact, I can tell you is there are a lot of Subarus that end up here. A lot of them. So let's walk around this one. It's a 2015. It's sold for $6,250. Not too bad, of course. Not too shabby. Um, tires, of course, will have to be changed. Steel wheels. Um, we have a little bum right here and another one right here so this is so i'm not going to waste my time on it just to show you guys how it looks now let's go ahead and look at another one of course yep we have the tow the tow package right there let's go ahead and look at another one
So next on my list is a Toyota Avalon. I love the Avalons, guys. Don't get me wrong, I do love the Avalons. And this one is an XLE. So let's check it out. Let's walk around. The color is black and it looks good so far. Clean Continental tires all the way around. The only downside I have to these, so we have a protective film right here, because if you if you know, okay, all the cars, so the protective film goes all the way to the front of the car, so it protects the paint from chips and stuff that affects um, the car when it's on the highway. It's sold. I'm not gonna get in it, but it's sold for nine thousand six hundred and fifty dollars. That's not bad. Well, it's sold. There's nothing we can do about it. We won't be going inside, but we'll just take you guys around just to see how it looks. Of course, it's the XLE. It has the heated seats. Okay, straight, yep, the heated seats. It's locked. The only problem I had with, with what I have with these is the touchscreen. The touchscreen is very, very small in them considering the size of the dashboard. If I had one, I would definitely go with the aftermarket uh, touchscreen just because I want something big that I can look into better. So let's go ahead and look at another one. So this is a Kia Sportage, Sportage, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully it's open. Okay, here it is. So since I'm here, I'm just going to show you guys. Oh, wow. I love it. it smells like smoke, but who cares, right? This is it. These, nope, these are fake. It's actually a space if you want to put one. You have the privacy stuff for the cargo. I will leave that deployed. Backup camera. This is nice. We have the roof rails. These are the high ones. Maybe like what, two, three, four inches high? I don't know. Okay. What's going on here? Guys, this smells like real smoke, but it's not bad. $7,650 for this one. Is this the LX? I'm not sure, but I guess this is the LX. This is this is a 2016. This is a 2016, 193,000 miles on the dash. Highway mileage, huh? This is how it looks. It's actually clean, $7,650. My guess is the GDI. Yeah, it's the old GDI. The engine that everybody is kind of talking about. People have their worst say about it. I, well, I really don't know. But I've, I've, I've watched and read a lot of bad reviews about the GDI engine. Okay, it's a 2017. Well, I don't know. Yep. Yep, this is a GDI 2017. Okay. It looks clean, but it definitely has driven a very, very, very long time. That's something that you want to take note of before, you know, doing what you want to do, especially to the Kia. But it's not too bad. It's not too shabby. Okay. And let's go ahead and make this one a thumbnail too for another video. Let's go ahead. All right. Moving on to the next one. So big thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoy the content that I create. Hope you, you know, like the stuff that I do. Hope you um, enjoy the information that I gave out as well. And I must admit, I appreciate those who comment in the comment section, you know, to educate me on stuff, you know, that, you know, I make mistakes on. You get... Um, a big shout out to that subscriber who um, educated me on the crew cap and the extended cap. You know what I'm saying? That was a big one for me. I always make mistakes when it comes to those two. Shout out to you if you're watching this video. I'm 100% appreciated for that comment you made. And uh, next time I make videos about trucks, I might not make that mistake anymore you know what i'm saying yeah so i mean let's let's jump into the um if you're not a subscriber kindly subscribe to the channel comment in the comment section 
about your thoughts, about the videos, you know, stuff like that. Like the video and let's make this thing big. Um, the channel is gradually growing. I have like what? We have like, we are like 300 plus. We're like 300 plus and that's it. I mean, I must admit guys, I'm impressed. Thanks for the love and support. Till we meet in another video, I'm out.